morning we're here with Rich Ellis, our product specialist when it comes to power equipment at Rocky Mountain Honda. Check us out at www.rockymountainhonda.com. Rich, what do you got to tell us about lawnmowers today? Hey Mitch, um, Honda are worldwide recognized for having uh, top grade power equipment. Um, you know, we have pumps, generators, and of course we also have a nice range of lawnmowers. Everything from entry level right up to the commercial spec mowers. Um, let me run through a couple of the others, we'll show some features on there and we'll highlight a couple of different uh, options on the different mowers. So we start down on this end of the mower with the HRS. This is like our entry level mower, under $400. Um, this is designed for like the small um, postage stamp type of lawns, low maintenance, it's a push mower and it's just a single blade that discharges onto the ground. There isn't a bag option on this one. Nice and lightweight. Great for everybody, and you can see this one's our tank bar version, which makes it extra sporty. The rest of the models that we have here essentially are all the same machine. Um, so, what we call these ones are our residential line, the HRR line. It's all exactly the same engine, it's a, a 160cc engine, same steel deck with a hammered paint finish on it. The only difference is whether it's self propelled, push propelled or rotor stop and we'll go through some of those features but what I want to show you first is the actual twin blades which Honda's renowned for. Can I flip this machine over? So it has two blades? It does indeed. Let me flip this over and I'll show you. So you can see underneath here we have two separate blades. The bottom one you can see has got these aerofoils on it. I don't know if you can see that clearly there. The idea of this is it creates a vortex so it's sucking the grass up as it goes over. So it makes the grass stand up on end and then obviously it's going to cut it twice on the way up. Now if you mulch like I do, then as the grass falls down again, it cuts it another two times. What this means in reality is, um, everybody's seen the thatch lines along the lawn when you used to mulch, but you don't get that with this. It's just like a green dust, breaks down into your grass after one or two days, and of course it's fertilizing the grass. So it's great for your lawn, and makes it very easy to use, and of course there's no clippings, so it's nice and easy, good for the environment. So when you talk about the vortex, it actually sucks the grass up back into the it does. housing? It does. Um, conventional lawnmowers with a single blade, they just rely on the length of the grass to get the cut. So the mower goes over, the blade hits the grass, cuts the grass. On these ones, even if we've had like uh, heavy rainfall, or like this time of year where we've had late snow, and the grass is, is laying over, this will actually suck it back upright so you get a cleaner cut. It means that all the grass is very evenly cut and it, it gives it that good look when you look at the lawn it looks fresh you know you've got almost like a vacuum there. cleaner pulling up on the on the grass and then cutting it is and it's funny you mention that because um normally for our first cut of the year certainly i mean i have this exact model my first cut of the year when you've got a bit of debris from winter time a few twigs and stuff like that and dead leaves and things these are great for doing cleanup. Um, put the bag on, run it across the lawn, it's gonna get rid of all that debris um, and clean it up for you basically, just like a vacuum cleaner. Cool. Now the other thing with these is, um, maintenance wise as well, um, these have a special edge on them to create that vortex. So we don't recommend sharpening. Um, you can buy a new blade for about 20 bucks. So really it's not even worth the time and effort to try and sharpen it, just get a new blade. I've had mine for five years and they're still as good as day one. So they do last a long time. So that's the Vortex system. Now that's on every mower that we're going to look at this morning. Now one of the features you'll notice when I turn this thing over, there was no flex in the, uh, in the actual handles. Most lawnmower manufacturers use a cheap grade steel, thin wall, so there's a lot of flex in the handles. We use a thicker wall tubing, so it's nice and strong. The other thing is when you actually move these bags out, you notice it comes straight out. There's no kind of obstruction in the way there makes it very easy to use. While we're talking about the bags, you see this one has a wide opening bag. It's held open wide all the time. Great airflow, so all the air is going to flow through to the back. It's going to bring all the clippings to the back. And of course, with that twin blade system, that means that you're going to get very small clippings in here anyway. So you're going to get more to a cut. It's very easy to use. How do you change the air filter on this? The air filter, very simple maintenance. Uh, in fact, I'll show you the air filter and I'll show you the oil change as well. So the air filter just pops out the side like so. And you can see it's just a simple paper element. So once a year you can give it a blowout or replace it. It's very cheap to replace. And very simple to put back in again. That looks easy. It's very easy. Oil change on these, 
incredibly easy as well. We actually use the dipstick on this side. So when you come to do an oil change, you put your catch tray on the bottom, just take the dipstick out. So, and just tip the mower onto its side, drain the oil out, refill back through the dipstick. How often should you change your oil? Uh, once a year is recommended, like once a season before you put it away. It's commercial good. guys would probably do more. But. Absolutely, yeah. Um, a commercial guy, you're probably looking at changing the oil uh, once a month, uh, something like that. It only costs about $9 to change the oil on these, so it's not an expensive process. But for the residential customers, like this one's designed for, once a year is sufficient. What are these uh, right here? What do these do? Um, this is uh, our adjustment for the handle. Um, on the normal residential ones, we've got two different uh, heights. So just changing these turnbuckles around, we can put it into the lower setting like so. Or we can actually fold the handle over completely on itself for storage. Uh, me personally, I have a, a tire rack in the garage. So in winter time, the lawnmower folds up and sits on the tire rack and the snow below is below it. And then come summer, we just swap them over. So it's nice and compact, especially when you take the bag off as well. This thing's tiny. Fits in the back of a little small car as well, so it's great to take home from the store. We deliver a lot to people that just put it in the trunk of their we car, do. right? We do, yeah. And we put them in some fairly small cars. And what's the uh, clip director here do? Okay, well let me just open this handle up a bit so we can see a little bit more clearly. Essentially what this is on these particular mowers is a flap system. Um, so you can control whether you want all the clippings to go to the bag, or just by moving the foot across to mulch. And like I said earlier, with the twin blade system, I never have the bag on my mower. Um, it just mulches all the time. So easy to use. So let's look at some of the other features on these mowers. Because um, there is several models, as I said. So these, this is the entry level residential mower. Um, this is a simple push mower, same 160 engine on it, and the twin blade system. As we move down the line, we have exactly the same mower, but now we've added the VersaDrive system. So basically, this is a simple speed control. And all you're going to do is just hit it with the back of your thumb there. The harder you push, the faster the mower goes. It's a gear-driven transmission, so low maintenance, very simple operation. And you can adjust this to make it more comfortable or to restrict the speed. Um, so if you've got um, kids cutting your lawn for you or something like that, you can put the, the lever down and then it's not going to travel that far, so the mower's not going to take off on that. If we want a bit of extra speed, you can get full range of movement right at the top. Pretty cool. So this this model, if you let off on the blade control, it'll shut off. It does. Um, from a safety point of view, as soon as you let go of the control handle, the engine will stop. However, we do have a model called the Roto Stop, um, which is our next one in the line up here. The Roto Stop. The Roto Stop. So this is the same mower again. So these three motors, mowers are more or less exactly the same. They are exactly the same mower. Except it's just so the features. This one's self-driven. This one here is uh, self-propelled. Self Sorry, this one is push mower, self-propelled. And then this one's self-propelled with Rotor. rotor stop. So the idea behind this one, exactly the same system, you've got this, the uh, self propel mechanism there as you can see. The idea with this one is that when you're cutting the grass you can engage this button here and then you can actually let go of the control lever and, and the engine will stay running but the blade's being isolated from the engine. You can then idle the machine right down so it's just basically ticking over. Makes it great if you're cutting grass around small kids and you don't want them anywhere near the, the engine when it's running. Um, if you have to cross across gravel pathways, for example, um, awesome for stuff like that. So the blade, it, the machine keeps running, mm -hmm. but the blade is stopped yeah, totally. The it's great. So it's, it's not running, it's not spinning, anything like that. And then obviously when you want to start mowing again, you just pull the lever back in, the rotor stop system disengages itself and the blade's active again. Yeah. And you can idle it down when you're dumping your bag of grass or yeah, whatever absolutely. you're doing. Yeah, it's done in the idle position now. Obviously when you're mowing it's up in the in the fast position. Or if someone brings you out with lemonade, you just idle it down and absolutely. just let it sit there and take a drink. And sure. Never happened to me, but. No, it never happens to me. I've either, heard about but, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so moving down the range, um, we have um, the top of the range, um, residential mower. Again, same mower, same engine, same deck, everything's the same. The only thing that's different is you lose the, versa, um, the, the rotor stop system, but you do gain electric stent. You have an onboard battery there. Um, it's very easy to start. This is a self-charging system. So whenever the engine's running, it's charging the battery. And then when you're ready to use this, you just give it a turn and away you go. Um, there is a plug-in here so that you can buy the Honda accessory charger for it. 
plug it in over winter time if you need to trickle charge your battery. Or you can take the battery out and just charge it on a conventional charger in the garage. Well, I imagine too, if you let it store over winter and then you just start it up by hand, it still has a hand start and then it would charge the battery up. It does, yeah. I mean, these do have a backup start system, as you can see here. Um, even if the battery was totally flat, normally firing the engine and running it for about 20 minutes will give you sufficient charge in the battery to be able to fire it up. Assuming, of course, there's a bit of common sense there. I mean, if you leave it all winter and don't do anything... All know. winter and 40 below, it might... Uh... Yeah, that's not good for the battery. So moving along here, um, we go into what we call the premium residential mowers. Now these are a little bit different, they do look very similar from the engine point of view, but what you've got here is a 190cc engine instead of a 160 engine. It's a lot more torque to cut through that longer or wetter grass, a little higher spin speed, more suited to larger gardens, acreages, and we actually have some commercial customers that use these as well. One of the primary reasons they like it is this composite deck. So, whereas you had the pressed steel hammer finish deck, this one is a composite plastic. Virtually indestructible. Um, Honda actually promoted this by driving an SUV over it. And it bends, but it doesn't crack or break. So, very robust. And of course, lighter than the steel deck. You also have some other nice features. You notice the wheels are bigger between the two different models. And a different tread pattern. This it's is in quite a taller wheel, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it's great for rolling over those undulations, rougher ground, that sort of stuff. It's also bearing mounted. So you notice how the wheel spins very easily on that one because it's ball bearings instead of bushes. It makes it very simple to use. Same sort of engine, same basic design, same air filter, everything. One of the biggest changes on it is what we call the 4 in 1 system here. So whereas we had the simple flap on the other one, this one has a variant lever. So you can decide exactly how much you send to the bag or to mulch, just by moving the lever across. So you could like 50-50 yep. bag and mulch if you want to leave some, but absolutely. Not, not everything. Yeah, absolutely. So it makes it very versatile. And of course you can turn the bag off and use it exactly the same way as the other one and just mulch completely. Is that a bigger bag than the other? It is a slightly a bigger bag. bag, yeah. It's the same wide opening system, but it is a lot deeper than the other one. So again, you're going to get more clippings in there. Again, another reason why the commercial guys like this one. The controls on this one, it comes as standard with the rotor stop system. It's a little bit different to the, the normal residential system. On this particular one, uh, basically you have two separate clutches. So you push the button down and push the lever in and that'll engage the blades. And then you have a drive clutch as well. And what's hydrostatic drive? So hydrostatic drive is a fluid drive. Whereas the other one was a gear driven um, drive, a belt to a gearbox, this one runs off a fluid pump and drives the wheels that way. It's a very smooth system, a very, um, it gives you a lot more variance in speed um, and the controls are a little bit more infinite. Whereas this one, it's a good system, but this one's way better, a lot smoother to use, a lot easier. Great if you're doing those longer uh, runs and larger areas. So the premium, how many premium models are there? There's two. Um, they're both actually exactly the same. This is the uh, the HYZ and the, uh, sorry, the HY, yeah, HYZ and the HZC. So this one here is exactly the same machine, but it has the electric starts on it. Same electric start system as the uh, residential system we were looking at before. Okay, so bigger engine than the residential system and hydrostatic drive, cuts grass even finer. Um, the other. In theory, um, I mean, it's still the same twin blade system, so the grass probably wouldn't be cut any finer, um, but it's good for that longer grass. Um, you know, you get a lot of people with acreages where the grass grows a little bit longer and thicker, so it's good for getting through that sort of stuff, and of course it's great for going through the wet grass because you've got the extra torque to be able to do it. But the same principle applies with that twin blade, it's going to suck that grass upwards, give it a nice clean cut. And what's this bad boy on the end? This monster is what we call the HRC commercial. So, um, what you've got here is a 160cc engine, but completely different to the residential things. This one's designed heavy duty engine, all bearing mounts. It's designed to take the rough and tumble of being run every single day and all day with a commercial landscaping company. Bigger air filter on here that's designed to obviously last a lot longer and cope with more um, horrendous conditions. So this is a mower all day, every day commercial if you're... Yeah, if you're a landscaping company, this is the one for you. Yeah. Um, solid steel deck, you can see it's all armoured up. You've got a bump stop on the front, you've got armour on the side of the deck. Why is it armoured up? Um, well obviously, as these uh, the commercial guys are, are running through various landscaping projects, they might be running into curbs or edging stones and stuff like that. 
There is actually armor kits available as an accessory for the premium residentials as well um, that does the same thing, but this one comes with it as standard. Um, the bag system is a little bit different on this one as well. Again, it's a large capacity bag, but you can see how it comes out differently. The idea behind this is that it actually stops clippings falling out as you lift it out. Now this one doesn't have the uh, four in one system or the mulch flap. It has a conventional um, plastic block in here. So you just remove the block when you want to bag and put the block in when you want to mulch. Like so, and then your bag just clips into this. It's either mulch or not mulch. You don't have the- There isn't the variance on these. The ones. variance that you have on the a premium series. Yeah. Controls wise, these are exactly the same as the premium. Hydrostatic. Hydrostatic drive, and the same rotor stop system, and the same drive system up here. Uh, you do notice that on the handles here, it is a fixed handle. So when it's in place, that's it. You can't fold it over for storage or anything like that. Looks like it has extra bracing here too. It does, much stronger. So it's designed to take that flex and, and the actual abuse of using it all day long. Um, but yeah, this is more designed for throwing on the back of a truck or a trailer and going from project to project. Certainly the armored model of the Honda lineup. It is, it? yeah. This is the Land Rover of the uh, Long Mall Worlds, right Mitch? <laughs> Land Rover? <laughs> you have to take it in for servicing more then. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, is there any uh, sale or anything going on on these units? Absolutely. Honda have a promotion at the moment. Um, it does vary on machines, anywhere from um, 80 bucks up to uh, 140 bucks off machines. Um, that promotion is good till the end of the month. Um, it does change month to month. And we're in season now, so mowers are starting to sell pretty fast. Um, on a busy day, we normally retail around kind of 14 mowers, so they do go pretty quick. But we always have them in stock. So, if someone's inter interested in a lawnmower, who should they come and see? Absolutely, they should come and see me. Um, or any of the staff here. We're all like, experts on the power equipment, but come and see me, Rich, at Rocky Honda.